Although plans called for a 36-foot wide road to be built, the road averaged only 12 to 18 feet that first year. Cleared areas often became bogs, miring equipment like this D8 tractor called a swamp cat in the mud. Pontoon boats were used to transport equipment across lakes and rivers until bridges could be built. Most of the bridges built in 1942 along the Alcan were timber truss and timber trestle bridges. It wasn't until 1943 that permanent steel bridges were planned for all major streams along the highway. The Alaska Highway officially opened November 20th, 1942 with a ribbon cutting ceremony at Soldier Summit, mile 1061. versuchen einen Film hochzuladen. Es klappt! Prima! This is the map as you head north. Fort Nelson mm -hmm. is here. Yeah. You're going to go up this way. Mm -hmm. We're leaving Mancho Lake. You come mm -hmm. past the lake and you go up a hill. Mm -hmm. When you get to the top of the hill, there's a viewpoint there. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you get to Watson Lake, they have a visitor center. They will have another one going from there. Wir sind in Leard River und hier geht's zu den Hot Springs. And now we are prepared for a bath in the hot spring. Jetzt geht's ins warme Wasser.
Wir sind gerade durch den Teil Kanadas gefahren, den man wegen seines Wildreichtums die Serengeti des Nordens nennt. Und gleich hinter dem berühmten Schilderwald in Watson Lake biegen wir ab auf den 400 Kilometer langen, unbefestigten Robert Campbell Highway. We love to see all these animals, especially if they come so close by. After 250 miles unpaved road. Wir sind in Faro, Yukon, und nicht nur das Auto braucht jetzt eine Dusche. Ich komme aus dem Bayerischen Wald. I live here since 99 now for almost 20 years now. I came over with my family, my husband and two kids. And we have a acreage 40 kilometers outside of Faro. It was our, our dream to come here to Canada, especially to the Yukon, because my husband, he likes to hunt. And it's, it's the freedom here and the space. It's lots of space here. And we built ourselves a, Block house. We have two guest cabins and big garden. We even made a potato field now. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome. This is the Yukon River, and we are heading north towards Dawson City, the gold rush city where the Klondike River flows into the Yukon. <laughs> 